a ubiquitous food found everywhere, from drive throughs to dining tables. But have you ever stopped to ponder their origin? These bite-sized chicken pieces, breaded and fried to perfection, have a surprisingly rich history. Their story is a journey through American innovation, agricultural evolution, and the ever-changing dynamics of food culture. Join us as we delve into the untold story of this iconic food. Chicken has not always been king. In the early 20th century, red meat reigned supreme. The chicken was a luxury, a Sunday dinner treat. But things began to change with World War II. A large quantity of red meat was required to feed the U.S. Army. This created a void in the market. Red meat was no longer sufficient for consumers. The chicken was the only protein that could fill the gap. Post-World War II, the demand and supply of red meat returned to normal, shifting people's food preferences towards red meat over chicken. This led to a decrease in the demand for chicken, causing a surplus in chicken breeding and significant losses for farmers. Additionally, post-war circumstances, such as women joining the workforce, made it essential to choose easy-to-cook meal options. During this time, whole chicken was the primary offering, with portions unsuitable for individual consumption and too small for families. Moreover, the traditional methods of cooking chicken pieces were neither convenient nor easy. Recognizing these challenges, Robert C. Baker, a faculty member at Cornell University, established a pioneering lab in 1957 dedicated to poultry product development. His innovative approach aimed to revitalize the poultry industry by creating various convenient and delicious products, including small eggs, ground poultry, chicken hot dogs, canned hash, and frozen meatloaf. But the best was yet to come. In the early 1960s, Baker and his team addressed two significant challenges related to ground meat how to bind it without the skin cover and keep the coating intact when the meat was frozen. They successfully developed a product that could be molded into various shapes and sizes by reducing the water content of the ground meat and using a binding agent. This allowed them to dip the meat into a protein batter and crumbs, then fry it in hot oil, resulting in a stick-like appearance. Cornell University later published a comprehensive report detailing every aspect of the process, from the recipe to the packaging and the costs associated with setting up a production line. This made it accessible to any production house. In 1977, the U.S. government issued a dietary recommendation. It talked about health problems related to red meat and switching from red to lean meat. These guidelines were the result of medical research. The study indicates that red meat cholesterol and saturated fat cause heart disease. After this, there was no looking back for the chicken industry. It eventually surpassed red meat, prompting fast food companies to seek chicken products to meet this demand. McDonald's found success with the chicken nugget and conducted its first test launch in 1981, with the full release of the product occurring in 1983. They developed a particular mold that created nuggets in four shapes, bone, ball, bell, and boot, as a marketing strategy to appeal to kids. Although McDonald's claims to be a pioneer in this field, it's worth noting that a similar product called Chicken Sticks was developed in the 1960s in a small basement lab by a group of scientists. With this, we come to an end. See you again in the next video.